Hey, what's up, guys? MMA fans, MMA fans all across the globe, all across the world. I'm coming at you again. Back at it. Basically, to uh, talk about the fight between Ken Shamrock and Pedro Hizo. God damn, man. What do I think about this fight, man? Let me just say this before I start. I don't think it, I, I, I don't, Ken Shamrock looked like he was in great shape, okay? Um, but to me, he had no chance going into this fight. Even a Ken Shamrock in his prime could not have beaten Pedro. You know, he's a, you know, especially in the style, the, the game plan that Ken Shamrock came to the fight. He fought Pedro's game plan, you know. I would have thought he would have tried to get it on the ground or try to submit him or pull off an ankle lock or, or something, you know, um. Uh, Ken Shamrock has really strayed away from the thing that has made him, you know, who he is today anyways, you know, uh, you know, you know, what people really kind of know him for was those, you know, those, those ankle locks, you know, and, uh, Ken Shamrock is just, you know, I don't know, he's basically just trying to be a stand-up fighter nowadays, and I think that's his, that's what, that's his downfall, and then I think another part of his downfall is getting there with these gigantic heavyweights, these big-ass heavyweights, and when, when he really should be fighting at 205, you know, um, a light heavyweight or whatever you want to say. Uh, but let me just say, I, I um, I'm a fan of uh Pedro. Um, uh, but do I think he looked real good in this fight? I know a lot of people probably thought he did, but to me he didn't. Even though he's a lot older as well, but he's not old as Ken Shamrock. Um, he's been in a lot of wars. Um, maybe he was just being patient, but to me he looked rather slow. You know, he, you know, he, uh, he just he. Man, I don't know, man. He just, I don't know. It was just something that made me think that, you know, he didn't look, he didn't look, he looked okay. He didn't look bad. He just didn't look that good, you know, not at all. You know what I'm saying? And, um, but that being said, uh, you know, he still pulled off the win. He was able to leg kick his way to victory. You know, he hit Ken, uh, Ken with a couple of big shots, uh, uh, you know, with the hands, but, um, you know, it didn't look like, you know, it kind of made, you know, of course it probably, you know, stung a little bit and um you know kind of hurt but i don't think it really you know it, it i don't think it really had him dazed and um i you know it was just the leg kicks man that did it you know it was the leg kicks that really i mean chopped ken shamrock down you know you could see as as he fell in in, in pain like i can't take i can't take another leg kick you know that's it and I think the referee probably should have stopped it right then and there when he fell to the ground. He kind of had to look in his eye like, "Oh shit, don't don't kick me no more." But instead, you know, he, you know, Pedro was able to get one last lick in, punched him hard in the face. But um, you know, I, I know a lot of people think that Ken Shamrock should retire. Uh, I really don't know what I think. You know, I just think if he's going to can continue to compete with you know some of these guys with world class striking. And especially, you know, at the age that he is, he needs to consider dropping down, you know, weight class because, you know, he's a, to me, he's a small heavyweight and uh, there's very big heavyweights out there nowadays. And um, he, his health, you know, his health doesn't seem like it's an issue. He doesn't seem like he's in that bad shape, bad, you know, he doesn't seem like he's in bad shape. Uh, he's in, to me, he's in great shape for a 46 year old. Uh, um, you know, it's the thing, man. You know, a lot of people expect so much from Ken Shamrock. But Ken Shamrock has never been a great fighter, in my opinion. You know, he was just overly hyped by the UFC. You know, who has Ken Shamrock really beaten? And for for us to really be expecting Ken Shamrock to go in and pull off some spectacular things, I mean, of course he, you know, he he's done. You know, he was in the beginning when UFC, you know, um, you know, in UFC one and all that when it first was first starting off, you know, and uh, he competed. He, he compete. He did some great things, uh, uh, you know. He pulled off some great submissions, and uh, you know, he, you know, he had some good fights, you know. But Ken Shamrock was never just this great fighter that the UFC hyped him up to be, you know. Um, so I don't know. Again, I don't know why people are expecting so much from this man. He's just a fighter that we should respect because you know he kind of has that warrior mentality really when i see from ken shamrock he is not afraid to fight anybody win or lose even though he's been getting his ass whooped for a long time now he's not afraid to fight anybody and i respect that but um if if i start to see where it's becoming uh uh you know dangerous to his health and every anything like that physical uh condition i would um 
I would prefer that you know uh, I would suggest that he that he re retires. But right now he he, he seems like he can he can fight a couple more. You know he got a lot of, you know a little bit more fight left in him. You know what I'm saying? Uh, from what I can see, I don't know if he'll win him, but you know he looked like he got some. You know he still has some fight left in him. So, but like I say, it was an okay fight. It wasn't that good. Pedro didn't look that good to me. You know he, you know especially against. You know, Ken Shamrock at this age, you know, he looked all right. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I don't know. You guys let me know what you think. That's just my opinion. That's just what I think. But, um, yeah, man, if Ken Shamrock is going to keep fighting, he needs to consider dropping down a weight class because he's going to get his ass kicked every time by, by these huge heavyweights. So, um, yeah, this may go into a part two. I don't know. But uh, for now, see you guys next time.